name is Ebony, and in this video, we're gonna go over the spiritual significance of squirrels. Right now, I'm in Cancun, Mexico, and I'm on a girl's trip. I haven't been on a girl's trip in like 15 years, so this is new for me. And the squirrel has been popping in my vibration and my energy quite often. Like to the point where I'm like, okay, why do I keep seeing this squirrel? I had a squirrel on my windowsill by my altar, by my ancestor altar. And I live in a high rise downtown. There are no trees, no nothing. So I was like, okay, clearly this is a message for me. I wanna share my notes with you since I'm here because one of the messages of the squirrel is to have more fun, you know, live, live it up a little bit. Don't be so serious all the time. And I am a very serious person. So I just wanted to share my notes with y'all just in case the squirrel is scurrying its way into your experience, into your energy. I wanna um, share some messages that spirit may be communicating with you. So when you see um, animals come into your life, particular animals, insects, they do provide you with um, energies certain energies and attributes and aspects of that particular animal, okay? It's bringing you messages, it's bringing you strength and energy, whatever it is you may be lacking that they possess. So when you see the squirrel, the first message is to step outside of your comfort zone. You may be just stuck on the same things, doing the same things, not wanting to change, not wanting to do anything differently, and you're just comfortable. But when you see this, the squirrel may be telling you to live a little. You gotta step outside your comfort zone so that you can grow because anything not growing is dead. Another message of the squirrel is to release any stress and anxiety and pent up emotions that you may be holding on to. And the squirrel um, reminds you to have more fun, laugh, live a little. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be so uptight all the time. You don't have to be so serious all the time. You can dance, you can have fun, you can laugh, you can enjoy life. You don't have to be so serious no matter what your occupation is, no matter what your title is. Live a little, okay? All right, you're a teacher, okay? You, you're a minister in the church. Okay, you this, you got all these titles. You're a CEO, you're a this, you're a that. Okay, you can have fun. Some people just, you take that title a little too seriously. Yes, I'm a teacher, but I'm also teaching you to live your life and be authentic and true to who you are. If you're worrying about what other people are thinking about you, you are not living your life, okay? You need to have more fun, uh, laugh, play, dance, joke, whatever. Whatever you got to do to kind of loosen up a little bit, stop being so tight, loosen up, okay? It's okay. Anybody that judges you for living your true self and being your authentic self is not for you. When you see the squirrel symbolism, it also reminds you to be open to change, be adaptable. Be ready to change in any kind of way. So coupled with the squirrel, I've been seeing a lot of 555s. I've been waking up at 555 here. Like I've been seeing a lot of fives. And if you've seen my triple five video, you know fives is all about change. Okay, it's all about change. So the squirrel is doubling back with that same message. Like you got to be adaptable. But don't be complacent. Be okay with change because it's coming. The squirrel is letting you know you're gonna have to step outside of your comfort zone, baby. And be ready for it and surrender and just go with the flow just go with the flow it's okay all right we were supposed to go atv in here i wanted to jump off a cliff we didn't do any of that but i was okay with that i just went with the flow i wasn't like oh my gosh we got to do this we just go with the flow man if some plans change it's okay it's okay you'll be all right the squirrel also wants you to understand the importance of communication using your words, using your um, behaviors, your actions, okay? Um, to communicate effectively with people, be respectful, respecting other people's differences, diversity, and just being um, an all around good person. The squirrel wants you to face your fears, you know, and trying different things. Like I said, I haven't been on a girl's trip in over 15 years. Like, I just don't do girls. <laughs> like, I. I don't know, I just don't. Um, Y'all know I went to China by myself. I'm I'm good traveling by myself. 
So a girl's trip is definitely out of the norm for me and different, but it was so fun. Like I really had a good time. And I'm glad that I didn't talk myself out because when I was invited, I was like, you know I don't do girls. You know girls don't like me. That was my first response, like, mm, no thank you. But I'm glad I did. I'm glad I stepped outside of my comfort zone. I had an open mind. I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't thinking anything negative. And we have been having such a good time here. So step outside of your comfort zone sometime. You know what I'm saying? Try something different. Go to an old well with a fresh dipper. Because if I would have kept that same energy from 10, 15 years ago, I would have missed out on all of this beautiful energy. Like, look at this. Like, I'm literally working in Cancun. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I would have missed this. I would have been home in 48 degree weather in North Carolina right now. And now I'm on the beach in a bikini. You feel me? So, go with the flow. Try new things. It may work for you, and if it don't work, okay. But if it does, it's great. The squirrel also wants you to be honest about your feelings and your emotions. Don't bottle them up, and that's very important for me as well because I'm good at bottling my emotions. You know, I feel like calm is a superpower, but sometimes you gotta let them. Sometimes you gotta let them know. Stop playing with me. You feel me? And you don't want to wait until that bottle explodes like a shaking up soda. Like, let them know right now. Put out those little fires right now. Don't wait until it's, you about to tip your lid and then all hell gonna break loose. You feel me? So be honest about your feelings and let people know how to treat you and what you expect. Don't let them take you from zero to 100. I done had, I done had somebody take me from zero to 100. And it's not a good look. I feel as if I would have nipped a lot of stuff in the bud before it wouldn't have went to that point to where I got to go ham. You feel me? So seeing this message was confirmation like stop letting people play with you. Okay? Be honest about your feelings and your emotions. And if it don't work, let it go. You know what I'm saying? But communicate. Don't just, don't be telling your friends. Tell whoever you need to tell how you feel. Okay? Let them know how you feel. Don't let people play with you world telling you that and I'm co-signing <laughs> okay I'm co-signing don't let people play with you so another message of the squirrel is to save save your coins okay save your dollars save for a rainy day because that's what squirrels do they spend all summer tending to they uh hiding nuts gathering collecting nuts collecting food so that when the winter comes they're safe and secure so that message is for you as well save Okay, don't be so um, frivolous in your spending, all right? But you also need to have balance because another message of the squirrel is that they spend all summer sa uh, saving, saving, saving their nuts and then they only collect about 10% of it, okay? But the good thing about that is they're still planting seeds for the future generations. So it's a message of balance. Don't work so hard that you forget to live, okay? Like, don't spend all your time just saving, 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 saving that you forget to live. And then you die with all this money because you can't take it with you when you're gone. Okay? So, you do need to save, but you also need to have that balance to where you live in your life. I said on my story yesterday, like, this is what we live for. This is what we work for. You don't work just to pay bills. You work so you can go and see the world, have wonderful experiences, live life joyously. You're going to live in a state of love. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just going to be working all day, every day for months. You need to have a break too. You get what I'm saying? Take a break. Take a break. Live a little. Have fun. Loosen up. Turn up. Whatever you got to do. Like, don't be so rigid and just like everything is work, work, work. Yeah, we do need to work, but you got to live too, man. You're not just here just to work and pay bills and die. No. Look at this beautiful world. Look at this. Like, you don't want to miss this. You want to see this world. And you want to have fun. That's what the squirrel's telling you. Have fun. The squirrel is also a lucky totem for the uh, the grinders, the go-getters. Okay? When you see the squirrel, it's like a nice little, a nice little blessing. Okay? Letting you know that your hard work is going to pay off. Your determination is going to pay off. Your critical thinking skills is going to pay off for you because you're a winner. And winners always find ways to win. You're resourceful. 
get what I'm saying? You're gonna find ways to make something happen. You don't give up easy at the first sign of struggle. The first little sign of some type of resistance, you don't give up, you push through that. And the squirrel is giving you that energy. Like, okay, you got a little, you got a little hurdle to jump over, you got a little roadblock, you got a little detour, that's cool. Because you can figure it out because you're smart and you're connected and you're an intuitive. Okay, you tune in. You're receiving these energies, so take them and use them. Okay, take them and use them to your advantage. Like, hmm, hmm, what can I do? How can I get out of this situation? What's the best way for me to uh, maneuver through this situation, okay? Winners always find ways to win, baby, always. When you see the squirrel, you can crack codes, you finding loopholes, you gonna figure it out some type of way. You're gonna figure it out. You're gonna find the loophole. You're gonna find the clause that gets you out of this situation. You feel me? All you gotta do is think. All you gotta do is think. All you gotta do is think, think, think. Tune in. All right, tune in. So yeah, we're gonna work hard. We're gonna play harder. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna work smarter, not harder. Okay, we're gonna work smarter, not harder because we intuitive. The squirrel also wants you to detach from any negative situations, any toxic situations that no longer serve you. Detach from that. Release it, okay? Whether it's physically, emotionally, any type of clutter so that you can create space for miracles. Declutter so that you can create space for blessings, all right? Get rid of it so you can make room for the new. Let it go, detach. It doesn't serve you anymore. If it's not a match, move on, baby, okay? If it's not a match, move on. Cause something so much better is always coming. No reason to stay is a good reason to leave. All right? No reason to stay is a good reason to leave. The squirrels are excellent planners and organizers so they're giving you that energy but they also want you to find balance. Don't be so stuck on a routine and structure and it gotta be like this and this and this and this and this, no. Sometimes you gotta scratch that whole thing and go with the flow and do something different, all right? But you are a great organizer and you are a great planner. It's just sometimes you gotta know when to, you gotta have that balance, okay? You gotta have that balance, you gotta know when to cut it off. Because sometimes you just take it a little too far. The main points and the main messages and vibes that I get for seeing this world is for one, to be okay with change, go with the flow. Two, have more fun. Like, have more fun. You ain't gotta be a granny your whole life. You know what I'm saying? Loosen up, dance a little, live a little, go have fun. Do whatever it is that is fun for you, go have fun. You know what I'm saying? Live it up, try things differently, talk to people, be more sociable. I'm not a social butterfly, okay? YouTube, this right here is perfect for me because I'm by myself, but I can still share my energy with you. But being in a large group of people, social settings, not comfortable with that. That is not my uh, thing. Um, like I said, girls trips, not my thing. This is perfect for me, four girls, six or more, that's probably pushing it for me. I'm glad that I took heed to this world symbolism and lived a little and um, stepped outside of my comfort zone because that's the message. And it proved, a, it worked for me. I'm glad I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I'm here and I'm not like, no, cause you know, all my other trips, I'm by myself. I'll go anywhere by myself. But it's fun to be in social settings as well. You wanna be around other people too, meet new people, they cool too. Everybody's not mean and crabby, okay? Some people really are fun and just, really just wanna have a good time. Keep that in mind. Especially when you see the squirrel, like open up to people, like open yourself up to more people. Cause people are cool, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, they cool. <laughs> I'm convincing myself that, right? Yeah, it's cool, it's fun, you know? Like, so open up. The world needs you, share your gifts, create your own fun. Whatever fun looks like for you, the squirrel wants you to do that, okay? Create your own fun. Understand the importance for preparing for your future. Always think about your future, okay? We're not thinking back, but always focus on your future. Say that with me, I'm focused on my future, okay? The squirrels are always thinking about their next move. They always going, finding nuts, hiding, burying them. Like they got stashes everywhere, okay? They ready, they're prepared for the future. So you need to prepare for your future too. 
but be okay with whichever way the wind blows you all right if it tell you to go left you might need to go left if it say go right go right but always stay focused on your future change is good change is not always bad change is good it means you're growing okay and anything not growing is dead so change it up a little bit try something different now this is a little fun fact according to native american folklore i love this the squirrel belongs to the angelic realm I got chills reading and writing that because the squirrel that I saw was on the windowsill of my ancestor altar, okay? The space that I've created to honor my ancestors, to connect with my ancestors, there was a squirrel there, a straight up squirrel. That's crazy. <laughs> and then I read that the message is that it is directly connected to the angelic realm that's confirmation for me i don't care what nobody else say that's confirmation for me so um squirrels are definitely a part of my vibration and not only are they tied into the angelic realm they are helping you with your self-discovery you understand they're helping you um tune into your higher self and connect with your divine guidance they're letting you know you can do it you are in control of your life when you see the squirrel, you're gonna come across some good opportunities. You're gonna have some good opportunities for advancement, for abundance, prosperity, love. Like, it's coming. So that's why you have to be open to change because you don't know what type of blessing is following that change, okay? Change always means growth. You're growing in some kind of way. It may hurt a little bit in the beginning. It's not always gonna be fun and pretty, but it's always gonna have a blessing at the end right it's always going to be tied into a blessing so don't be afraid to grow try something different and just step outside of your comfort zone who knows that stranger may be the person that has your miracle you're gonna have plenty to share and to spare so angels i need you to share your gifts your talents share them birth them bring them to light bring them to light we need them everybody needs you Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I know I say all the time I'm gonna show up more than I am. I really, really am. I'm showing up for you on vacation, but I need to go get into this beautiful water one last time before I say adios to Mexico. <laughs> but yeah, I just really wanted to get y'all some good energy when you see squirrels, because like I said, it's been so active in my vibe and I wanted to share with you the messages that I've received. I'm gonna show up more for you. I am opening up my group coaching. Um, I'm pretty sure by the time I edit this video, it'll already be booked and full, but you can still um, sign up for my mailing list. The link's in the bottom. Um, I have so many free gifts for you. When I say your love has carried me further than I could have ever done myself, but it's because I stepped outside of my comfort zone and I did things that were uncomfortable for me. I opened myself up to you. You get what I'm saying? Which is uncomfortable because I'm an introvert and I'm private and I'm shy and all that stuff. But I had to open myself up and move past that to be my authentic, true, vulnerable self. So click the links in my description, angels. Um, I love you. I love you. I love you a million times over. Please let me know your experience with the squirrel symbolism. And also let me know if anything resonated with you. And I'll see you in the next video. And there are going to be more, 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 and more coming for you. I love you.